All right, so we've returned to pet catchers. It's exactly been one hour since I ended my five hour long live stream on the entire update. I spoke to some of you during the stream and you told me that I should go ahead and make an update video. So I figured why not just go ahead and answer the question that I pretty much got the most throughout the entire stream in this video, give you guys the full breakdown on the best way to get your hands on these tokens. Now, the first thing that you'll probably notice is that I am currently sitting at 405 mil. That is with both of the new areas inside of Arcade Unlocked. If we head over here to my talents, I'm currently focusing a little bit more on my egg luck as well as the whole entire hatching process. And the reason I'm pointing that out is so that, that way you don't think that in any way is that helping me with the methods that I'm gonna show you in today's video. They're pretty straightforward, but I know that when you first jump into the game, it's a little bit confusing, especially if you were in my stream, you probably Probably saw how confused I was on how to get the tokens but once we started getting the ball rolling it was extremely easy for starters you're gonna want to go ahead and open up as many eggs as you need to to be able to get your hands on a solid team now I know some of you are gonna be like well carbon it's easier said than done to get your hands on good pets which as you can tell from the very top I haven't been very lucky either on the other hand I was able to get my hands on the one in 16,000 which I believe is actually a little bit more than that I think it might be like one in 30k because obviously I do have boost activated right now but just that one pet was an absolute life changer for me because if i switch to my tokens team here you'll probably notice that at the very top here i have it shiny now fully max level with tokens five yes that means that there is indeed a brand new rune and you can obtain this rune by either using radioactive jellies obviously obtaining it through either the prize shop or the shrine and you can also obtain it from using reroll scrolls that's actually how we got our hands on this. We pretty much re-rolled this until I got token four, and then I went ahead, dropped deadly four, and we also dropped critical hit because I had a bunch of extra critical hit runes. So already off the bat, this completely maxed out. We're looking at a 2,200 multiplier, which is actually insane. I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, but to take a quick look at the rest of my team. These are all steel duels. Only one of them is shiny because I didn't really wanna turn the rest of them shiny. It does a times 750 with tokens three and then again all of these are just regular seal duos non-shiny max level doing times 375 because every single one of them has token three now it's fairly simple to get your hands on the seal so even if you have to get a full team of those it's definitely better than nothing and it's going to help you a tremendous amount until you're able to get your hands on at least one arcade alien to really make the difference now let's talk about the actual things that you're going to be doing to make more of these tokens we got the team out of the way but let's talk about active gameplay and what you're going to be doing again i played this for roughly around the last six hours because i have been off stream for an hour and restreamed five hours of doing this out of all the testing that i did the best results that i got were inside of the claw machine but there's something very particular that you need to go ahead and get your hands on before you make the absolute most out of the claw machine if we scroll all the way down here to this poor little level seven seal duel that i have down here you'll notice that it has gamer five as well as a brand new rune called mlg5 both of these combined together not only increases my chances to get legendary inside of the game but it also increases the time of the game game itself so let's give you like a quick little preview i'm gonna go ahead and get started here we have our whole entire tokens team it's very important that you have your tokens team equip all of these pets that i have activated right now do have a token multiplier then inside of this menu go ahead and get started but as for the pet that you want to go ahead and throw into the mini game you need to make sure that you throw in that mlg and gamer pet he does not have to be equipped you just need to make sure that you throw this one into the game now if you notice at the top it is going to say 56 seconds that is the starting point for this mini game when you have it at mlg5 so it's pretty insane already we've made 756k tokens out of literally just a couple of seconds of being in here 1.1 million and like i was saying in my live stream this mini game is honestly so easy all you have to do is basically wait until the prize ball or i guess green circle reaches that red spot right there in the middle so right over here You'll notice there's like a, a, a red something. I don't actually know what it is, but you just wait till it's right there and then just click drop. Do this over and over again and you will make millions, man. So right there with no boost, we're looking at 4.2 million. But the beautiful thing about this mini game is that if you notice over here on the side, I got two token potions this is another thing that's really important i have 91 of these but you want to make sure that you have these activated 
We're gonna do the game one more time just so I can show you guys how much of a difference it makes. And honestly, mixed in with that, we're also gonna throw in a gamer elixir to help out with that secret because inside here, you can actually still get your hands on the brand new dog cat. So let's jump back in here and I'm gonna show you guys how much I make now. We still got 20 seconds left on the board. We've already made 5.2 million. I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest way to go ahead and make tokens if you're actively playing. That is very important to keep in mind. So right there, you'll notice that we made 7.6 million really not the most that i've made i've actually made close to 9.1 million so this really wasn't the best example but i mean you get the idea now again i know i've repeated this multiple times already but i do want to make it very clear that this is the best way to make it when you're actively playing the game when you're sitting in front of your computer clicking on stuff but there is better methods if you want to go ahead and afk uh, i don't know if some of you want to get super fancy and create macros and stuff for the claw game maybe that's good uh, i don't see how useful that would be considering you'd run out of tickets eventually but technically there is three other ways of making tokens in the game fishing catching as well as the boss the boss is uh pretty decent tokens but not worth it for the amount of action that you actually have to put in so unless you're chasing after the pet or potentially even the hyper board then i would totally pass on the boss now between catching and fishing personally i would choose to go with fishing and it's really only for one reason if you go with fishing you're not only going after tokens but you're also going after gems that are going to be extremely useful so that way you can make way more progress over here on the talent oh my shrines are up let me go ahead and grab all of these appreciate it over here this shrine should also be up yep i will take that now the plinko machine over here now that we're over on this side you guys might know it as the cube drop this is a good one man this is a really good one i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit of gamba it's actually a lot of gamba but i don't know why it is extremely satisfying to play this i usually make a couple of million out of this but it really depends on how many legendaries i have so far i've put in about six thousand legendary cubes into this and i've gotten pretty good results realistically what you're going to be leaving here with is mostly tokens as well as a lot of like the golden tickets but besides that you're not going to really earn too much here and i also know that a lot of you probably want to hold on to your legendary cubes so this is not really a viable method now later on tonight i'm going to be getting my hands on this hyper rod so be expecting that video probably early tomorrow but i really wanted to get this out there because i know that a lot of people are struggling with the tokens right now and everyone is sort of dabbling in everything some people are catching some people are fishing a lot of people are not really messing with the claw machine which is kind of odd to me but oh man we got some good stuff in here i'm gonna grab these i'll go ahead and grab also some of these tickets to max myself out and we'll also grab this gamer elixir and that's pretty much it so yeah man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any of my pet catchers videos we have a lot of stuff coming this weekend as well as throughout the week there is plenty of things for us to unlock and we're gonna accomplish all of it that's gonna do it for this video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care